Coloring XGen guides can be a cumbersome task. The Guide Color tool allows you to color XGen guides without having to paint a map manually. To use this tool, the scalp mesh will require UV that falls in the 0 to 1 space. In the XGen tab, open up the Guide Color tool. Make sure that you have the current description selected. The tool will only work when you have selected guides in the current description. If your selection includes guides from another description and create a guide color layer, you will receive a warning message. The preview percent is the XGen primitive preview percentage. The tool will refresh XGen when a color operation is triggered. If you do not want to see the hairs while assigning colors, set this to zero. As this tool uses the underlying scalp mesh for coloring procedures, if the face count of the scalp is too low, coloring can be inaccurate. In most cases, mesh sub D level of 1 will be enough. Increase this number only if you have lower scalp face counts. The higher this number, the slower the process. Color random will make the guides easier to read. I recommend giving randomness at all times to distinguish the guides better in your workflow. This tool uses a workaround to get color assigned to the guides. Colors are painted, baked, and assigned to the XGen attribute automatically. As color is changed, a new map will be processed. When picking a color, my personal preference would be a lighter and more desaturated color. This will boost the readability for color randomness. Clicking on the layer button will select all the guides in that layer. Changing the color will tell the tool to rebake a map. Just like the Maya layers, you have the ability to set visibility and lock control for each layer. If you want to add guides or remove them from a layer, Simply select the guides and click the plus or the minus button. Clicking on the X will remove the entire layer. For demonstration purpose, I am setting the color random to zero. Clicking on Full Update will take all the guides in the description and bake out a new map. If you have a large number of guides, this can take some processing time. If you would like to enhance the color contrast for guides that you are currently working on, select the guides. Set the color randomness and hit Update selected. To isolate a layer, middle mouse click on the layer names. Isolating a layer will still keep the initial visibility settings. There are controls to toggle and reverse the visibility and locking of layers. Selecting a layer and clicking on the up or down key will adjust its order. The reset button will clear all colors in the current description. I hope you find this tool useful.